All right, so what's the equation for revenue? R of x, well, R of x minus C of x is equal to your profit. So the amount of money you bring in minus the cost that it makes that it takes to produce is going to be equal to your profit. So revenue minus cost equals profit. Do I know our revenue? All right, so I got 50x minus x squared minus my cost, which is 10x plus 4, is equal to p of x. Oops. Everybody okay with that? All right, so simplify this. 50x minus 10x is 40x. Do I have an x squared? Well, just that one, so there's nothing else. Minus 4 is equal to p of x. All right, absolutely. Now we want to maximize profits, correct? So the first thing we have to do is use r of x minus c of x equals p of x to build p of x, the profit equation. Two, p prime of x. And three, what do we do with p prime of x? Set it equal to zero. And then what's four? The first derivative test. See, it's all just checklists. Yeah, to build P of X. These pens, they just bleed everywhere. Or I can't write one of those two. I'm going to go with the pen's fault. All right, so P prime of X. What's the derivative of 40X? 40. What's derivative? Derivative. What is a derivative? What is the derivative? <laughs> okay, minus 2x. What's the derivative of negative 4? Zero. Zero. All right, so now what do we do? Set it equal to 0. Solve for x. Subtract 20. Negative 2x equals negative 20 because I fear no negative number. I know my, I, like I said, I do that every once in a while. I know what the answer is going to be. So in my head, I'm already thinking about the answer. Divide by negative 2, divide by negative 2, x is equal to 20. Now, are there any other critical values? No. So my strong suspicion is that this is going to be the answer. However, we have to check to make sure that it's the answer. Because let's say that uh, you don't check the answer. It's not the right answer. You present this to your boss, and then he puts the plan in action, and then you don't make any money. Guess where it comes down to? Your boss ain't going to get fired. You're going to get fired. So we got 20. I'm going to put in... Well, is zero in the domain? Are we going to sell zero? I'll put in 10, and I'll put in 25. So if I put in a 10, it would be 20 minus, or 40 minus 20, which would be positive. So the graph is doing this. That's a good sign. 25, that's 40 minus 50, which is negative, which means the graph is doing this. So somewhere here, we got our maximum. So we have a max at x equals 20 units. Now, this could be something 
since we're only selling 20 of them, it could be like a Tesla or a house or it could be something big because if you're only selling 20 of it, it's probably some type of big item. Um, then the problem kind of falls apart on you. Yeah, it's usually once you, a lot of the optimization problems are once it's set up and you have a profit equation. If it's quadratic, if the profit equation is quadratic, then the derivative is going to end up giving you the maximum because the nature of the the nature of um, a profit equation is usually it ends up being um, an equation that's going to have a maximum in it. It's going to have points where, because the profit equation was quadratic and it was open upside down, so you can almost say to yourself, it's quadratic, it's open upside down, it's going to have a maximum. So at that point, you could have explained it without even doing the first derivative test. Saying, well, since it's quadratic and since the leading coefficient is negative, I know that it's going to open down, which means that the vertex of it's going to be a maximum value. Then you could have found the vertex. If you would have found the vertex, negative b, negative b, which would have been negative 40, over 2a, which would be negative 2, which is 20. Isn't that what we found here? So we found you can find your x value in a different way if you forget the first derivative test too. Just remember what the nature of a quadratic function is. And that's your vertex. So there's a, a few different ways that you could have gone about that one.